We can't evaluate the limit of the square root of x squared plus 9 minus 3 all over x squared as x approaches 0 directly by substitution, because if we try to do that, we're going to have the square root of 9, which is 3, minus 3, all divided by 0 squared. So that would just be 0 over 0, and that is indeterminate. So we'll have to do something else to evaluate this limit. In the numerator, we would certainly prefer to have the difference of the squares of these two terms, because if we had that, then the square root would go away. The way that we can get that is by multiplying and dividing by the conjugate. The conjugate of one thing minus another is the one thing plus the other. So this is what that looks like. We're going to multiply this expression by the conjugate, and we have to divide by the conjugate too. That way we're just multiplying by 1. Now in the numerator, we're just going to leave this as it is. x squared multiplied by this conjugate, we're not going to bother distributing. But in the numerator, distributing is going to help us out a lot. What's going to happen is we'll get the square root of x squared plus 9 times the square root of x squared plus 9, and so the square roots would just cancel out. Then we'd have 3 times that square root and minus 3 times that square root. Those two things cancel out, so the only other term is minus 3 times plus 3, so minus 9. You see we end up getting the difference of the squares. So it ends up looking like this, x squared plus 9 once those square roots cancel out, and then minus 9. And then in the denominator, we have these two terms, which we're not going to distribute. We see then that 9 and minus 9 in the numerator cancel out, and so then we're just left with x squared divided by this. But then we can also cancel out those x squareds. So all that's left in the numerator is 1, and all that's left in the denominator is that conjugate term. At this point, we can evaluate the limit by direct substitution. Plugging in x equals 0, we get 1 over the square root of 9 plus 3. The square root of 9 is 3, and 3 plus 3 is 6. So the limit approaches, or rather the limit equals, 1 over 6. That's how to evaluate a simple limit using the conjugate. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.